I am a person living with bipolar disorder. I am a person living with a mental illness. But when people ask me for the first time who I am, I say, I'm a father. And that's how I see myself. People with a mental illness who have children are parents just like any other parents. And we have the same responsibilities and the same goals and the same hopes for our children. We struggle with managing a household and work and finances and taking care of the kids. And on top of it, we're dealing with a disability that can make life rather difficult, not just for us, but also for the people around us. At times, I've had uh, a real sense of shame about my mental illness, a crippling sense of shame. After I had an opportunity to rebuild my life. My daughter Charlotte and I were in family therapy together and seemingly out of nowhere she bursts out, I don't like the decisions that my daddy makes because he has a mental illness. And I was shocked. Charlotte's comment came from a place of anger, a place of mistrust, a place of later I found out misinformation. I had never talked to Charlotte about my bipolar disorder or my mental illness. I told myself she was too young, it was too sophisticated of a topic, um, but the truth was I was afraid. I was afraid to tell my daughter that I had a mental illness. Over the next couple of years, Charlotte and I worked together to educate ourselves about my bipolar disorder, about mental, il mental illness in general, and one day she came to me and she said, Daddy, I wish there were other kids I could talk to who have a parent with a mental illness. In all of my research, I was unable to find an organization that would bring Charlotte together with other kids with a great group of professionals and academics and researchers and advocates and parents. We built an organization called Child and Family Connections. And our first program was a workshop called Creative Expressions About Mental Health. Creative Expressions brought parents and children together, parents with psychiatric disabilities together, in a creative arts classroom setting to talk about and to learn about mental illness in healthy, positive ways. And it was an amazing success. Charlotte's request four years ago has inspired me and it's inspired others. And this journey that we've been on has helped us understand how meaningful and how valuable talking about parental mental illness with children can be. It's given me back what I lost so many years ago. It's given me back my daughter. Charlotte has taught me to be honest and candid and open about who I am and what I am and where I come from. Brown paper bag, don't stop me now, I'm on a roll Playing brown rap in your pocket Is it still the invisible man you're consorting with Walmart?